The work of professional and caring healthcare providers must be applauded. But there have been many complaints from patients and other people who use the General Hospital of less than desirable service. And one of these patients has now come out and said, enough is enough. A young woman is on a campaign to fight for better services at the General Hospital in St. George's after a personal experience which she says has left her convinced that people who are sick need more than medication to get well. Speaking with CC6 News Night on Tuesday, Kizian Abraham says she visited the hospital about two months ago and was shocked by the attitude of the member of staff she encountered. Well, it happened at least, I'd say, two months ago. I suffer with an air infection. It, you know, it comes and it goes very often. And I just really wanted something to relieve the, the ache because I just could not fall asleep with it. So I went there, and what really turned me off generally was the attitude of the nurse that I interacted with. At that point, many thoughts started going through her mind, Miss Abraham says. And if you're a nurse, you should have a compassionate attitude about what you're doing, you know, provided, yes, it's not an emergency, but your manner and your tone in which you tell somebody that, it will do a lot more good than you coming down on them and making them feel like they're ignorant of the system. The encounter made her resolve to do something to make a change, and she began seeking out other people who were not satisfied with the treatment at the public health facility. She shares some of the stories she has gathered so far. One is from a woman who had to explain to a nurse why she took her asthmatic daughter to the hospital rather than a community health center. I said because my daughter is asthmatic and everything she eat, she vomiting, she don't digest anything and she have a chest pain. So I think the hospital was a suitable place to bring her there because you cannot tell what could trigger the asthma. She said, ma'am, I don't want to be rude to you or anything. But the hospital is not for that. The hospital is for emergency. So I turned to her and I said, so that is not a case of emergency? She said, no, that is not a case of emergency. So I said, what do you terms as emergency? If a child which is asthmatic, vomiting, chest pain is not an emergency, what you terms as emergency? She said incident and the dengue thing that going around. Another story came from a woman who said she had to return to the hospital after stiffness in her arm from an injection she was given there. When I was sitting in nebulizer, I realized my face was feeling heavy. And so I quit from taking it and I went to use, well, I took out a mirror from my bag. When I look at my face, I realized my face was swelling and I started to get red. So I know right away is an allergy reaction. So I quit from taking the nebulizer, I took off the machine, and I went to the nurse and I kindly said, um, nurse, I'm, I, re, I re, uh, took off the machine because look how I'm feeling. She, she told me that um, I wasting the government medicine and we're getting the medicine free and you have country who want the medicine and so forth. But I said, nurse, I'm having an allergy reaction, but that is what you came up here for in the first place. I said, yes, I did came up here for that in the first place, but if you had looked at me, you'll have seen my face, nothing wasn't swelling. I said, you come to me, you didn't even tell me good night, you had your head down, you didn't even look at me. I said, after, after that, the, she, she done it. I said, well, I'm not going to take it again. And I sit down waiting for the doctor to come and look at me. Miss Abram also spoke with a woman who said she was left feeling humiliated by the actions of nurses shortly after she had given birth. After I had given birth to the baby, I realized that my nipples were inverted. And I tried squeezing out the milk, but it wasn't coming out. So... During the night, my daughter got up and she was crying for milk. So I went to one of the nurses and I asked for some formula for her. What she said exactly was, the hospital don't have milk. So when I heard that, I was like, the hospital don't have milk? And then while I was walking away, she said, it's a good thing you don't have milk. Just like that, like a pig. And I went back to my see that I was sitting down there. I couldn't believe it. It was really shocking. And while I was there, she kept looking at me and saying stuff and talking to her other friends, other nurses on the ward. And they were just looking at me and laughing and making fun of me. 
All during this time, my daughter was crying. I couldn't get milk, no family, or nothing for her. Media practitioner Kelly Strafario also related some things she observed at the general hospital. I spent a few days in the hospital as a patient, and the situation was atrocious in some ways. Now, among your, your, your ladies in the deep blue, I suppose those are your students, you have some real potential caregiver. But there's a real problem with the way that, that, that people are treated. It wasn't just myself. I observed a security officer leaving his station outside and rushing down and opening a curtain with a patient on a bed, no clothes on, being given a sponge bath by her husband because he felt her son should not have been on the ward. Now, I'm not sure why he didn't stop at the nurse's station to, to, to get the problem dealt with from there. But there was a lot of disrespect of the patients on the ward. The young woman says she is collecting the stories so they can be compiled and given to the proper authorities. I would really like to see happen, first of all, is to a minim, minimal amount of complaints. Because if you listen to like the radio stations, especially Jericho's morning hour, a lot of persons call and they really complain about the attitude they get from the medical staff that they come into contact with there. So I would like that to change. In a media conference at the ministerial complex on Tuesday, Deputy Director of Hospital Services, Esther Henry Flery, addressed the issue. We are um, dealing with them in the best way that we can. Now, that particular issue concerning that young lady uh, is a matter that the Hospital Management Committee has looked at um, amongst a lot of other issues that come to our attention. And, um, you know, we have to do a lot of work with some of our frontline staff. We have begun the process um, last year and continuing to do customer relations training and um, that we hope will help to improve the, um, the frontline service that we provide to our customers. Minister of Health, Senator Ann Peters, says policy is being put in place to address service in the sector. Ministry has instituted within, within the administrative section the quality improvement planning unit and we have actually on staff at this moment, a quality improvement coordinator. Now, customer service complaint systems protocol has been developed. As you know, we are going into budget. And these are some of the things that we hope to have implemented in 2011 to improve the speed and efficiency at some of our departments and to allow for persons who will have complaints to have their complaints addressed in a structured manner. Ms. Abrams says she is sharing her telephone number 536-9113 for anyone who wants to share a poor service at the hospital story to keep the pressure on the authorities for things to change. Beverly Sinclair, CC6 News Night.